Okay, so now we're going to look at uh, Mentimeter or menti.com, basically. Um, you just go to mentimeter.com and register. It's a free app again, so just um, log in and get you come up to this here. So you have got your presentations. Okay, so you can see I've already created some different um, presentations for different subjects. And we're just going to go through the process of actually creating one. So we're just going to click on new presentation. And the first thing you're asked to do is give it a name. So let's just call this in my, um, we're just going to do word cloud. Okay, so you have lots of different options in this. You can do word clouds, you can do quizzes, um, multiple choice questions, things like that. So we're just going to go ahead and create our presentation. Okay. So over here you have the different types of slides you can use. So you maybe want to put in a heading first so you can actually say, okay, well this is... Your slide comes up here, so a bit like PowerPoint where they all come up along here. This is your main slide. Already you've got your code, so it allows people to access it. Uh, but you want, you want to edit anything you're over editing over on this side. So you can just say, right, Merino. Okay. Okay. And that's just your heading. Okay, so you're only allowed so many slides, one heading slide and up to five new slides, um, depending on whether you pick um, quizzes or word clouds or whatever so basically we're just going to click on new slide down here and again you can see they're coming up it gives you the options so we're just going to pick a word cloud here and the idea you've seen these before the day of the word cloud is that you know you get people to put in words and the more people put in the same word the bigger they become okay so we're just going to say um, blended learning what is it Okay, and what we're saying is we're, for everybody that is has access to this, so we'll allow them three entries. Okay, yeah, you can change that. You can filter profanities in case they decide to put in some very rude words. But you can also allow audience to submit more than once. So basically, you know, if it's something that you want to brainstorm, you know, you can actually let them do it as many times as they want. And it's usually a good idea just for the first couple of times just to get used to it. Okay, and then basically, you know, you're either ready to present this one or you can add another new slide. So we'll just present this one first. So over here on the right hand side, you have the option to present. So you click on present. Okay, so this is the code you got. Okay, and you're currently presenting it. So if I just go on to another browser here and go to menti.com. So it's Mentimeter is the actual website for creating your presentations, but menti.com is the one you give to your students. So what we're asking for is the code 554097. 554097 and you submit it and you see the way you get basically what the question was here and you have to enter words so let's just say and you can put in phrases even though it does say fields of space will be considered as one word but it will go in correctly okay so you can put in phrases you can put in single words and once you submit it and we give it a second you can see this start coming up here okay and if I was to submit say for example online again and I was to put in other words like um, offline and submit it again and here on your word cloud you can see the online is coming up quite big because it's been submitted twice so the more people that actually submit the same word the bigger it'll get you'll find that i you know if you have a group of maybe 15 or 16 people doing this you'll have some very small ones if there's a slight spelling um, mistake or if somebody say for example has used integrations of varieties it'll come up as a new word but by the same token it actually works really well so you basically end up with a brainstorm of people's ideas of what blended learning is um, when you're finished you can go back and back to Mentimeter so that's that and it will keep your results and if you want to start with a new group then you just click on clear results and you start all off again okay or you can go back to your home one so I'm just going to show you on here now that is I just okay just back on that one as well so we should so for example a quiz okay so here we have a legal studies quiz now I'm going to do this on my phone at the same time so you can see that it's coming up twice okay so this code is just 3710 so we're just going to type in 3710 I'm going to put it on my phone so I have access to my phone and I'm also going to just put it in here Okay, so Roctus, what did you learn? So this is just your heading that's coming up and it's also coming up on my phone at the moment, okay? So you, this is what you've started, okay? You haven't actually started to present it yet. So as soon as you start presenting and move on to the next slide, waiting for players, okay? So you can see there that basically you're putting in your name, okay? So this, if this, if this is the first time they've used it on their phone, they'll ask for a name. If they've used it before, then it won't. Okay, so let's just say Tom and submit. 
So it basically is a quiz and therefore it'll keep a record of what people have got, okay? And then once everybody has logged in and it should tell you, waiting for players, so if I, okay, there we are in now, okay? And the faster you answer, the get more, you get more points. So we're just gonna click on start the countdown. Get ready, you see it's gonna count down here. It's also going down to my phone. Ireland is governed by, okay? Basically a parliamentary, Anarchy, a parliamentary democracy or a monarchy. So let's just uh, everyone has voted to come to the bottom. Two people have given the correct answer, as you can see from this. OK, and if you look at the leaderboard, OK, Tom is faster because basically I clicked on Tom's answer before I did it on my phone. OK, so they give you points for speed and they give you points, obviously, for having the correct answer. OK, go back to show results. Once that's answered, you can move on to the second question. And again, if you look then for Tom here in the background, Okay, get ready to play, Tom. This comes up also on your phone. You click on start the countdown. Okay, the question is how often are general elections held? And you got your answer, so let's say it, wrong answer here. Okay, everyone has voted, so you know now that everybody has voted because those are the people that have registered. <coughs> One person, <laughs> Tom, got the wrong answer, as you can see from this, because he said four, okay. But um, I got the right answer here at six. And again, if I show the leaderboard now, so, you know, it is a bit of a competition. It kind of motivates the students to actually want to do better. So um, again, you know, if they can see who's doing, who's getting the right answers as they go along, it kind of helps. Or you leave it to the end and don't show them, just show them as. So it also has come up my phone that I'm in the first place. So it's telling me that I'm the best at the moment. So that's good. Moving on to the next one. So again, with Mentimeter, you are limited to, um, five questions but if you're doing some kind of presentation so for example this was a presentation on the Oireachtas um, and I really didn't want to ask them a load I just wanted to see whether or not they'd been listening basically so um, once they um, showed that they were listening this was the idea of it to show that they actually listened to the presentation